Okay, so what do we have here? Version 2.8 Summer Fantasia trailer of Genshin Impact announced July the 2nd, 2022. I think I missed something. Close to 1.5 million views and 120k likes. Too bad I can't see how many dislikes on this one. And it's quite surprised that it's no longer trend on gaming recommendations. I might have to take a guess that something went horribly wrong during the special program. So that is why I placed a version 2.8 special program right here after I do the reaction on this one. And after this, I might as well have to watch the entire uh, replay of the version 2.8 special program on this one. But uh, I guess I'll do this one offline and might as well have to make another video of the overall rundown of what's going to happen on version 2.8 and what are the things that has been revealed during the special program or before or after the special program. Oh. I might have to take a guess. At the beginning of the trailer, we, I think there might be an, another story quest. I guess for Kazuha? I don't know. But if my predictions are correct, then, well, good luck. Good luck on that one. And there goes Shikanoi and Hazel. Then again, I guess something very interesting is about to happen. And the first ever melee catalyst animal from Inazuma. But the problem is, Shikanoi and Hazel is a four star, but uh, got the drip right there. And kind of interested what are the overall kit that this character has to offer to the player base. Oh. Okay. When I touched the hilt for the first time, it's as if I was transported to a strange dimension. Ah. Huh. Oh, faithful retainers, this is the blessed paradise that one has been searching for. Oh god, please, not facial again. Mona. Oh, hello. Oh, hi. Praise be to the princess who has led us here to this sacred place. Sinian? Sincere gratitude to you for inviting me to join you on this trip, your highness. Hmm, Kasuha too. Is this astrologist forced into a juvenile role-playing game? <laughs> Lady Magistus, are you embarrassed? Wait, what is this? Hi, right, what is this? Is this some kind of a comic um, aesthetic or something? I don't know. Hmm. Um, okay, what's happening to you guys? You're floating in the air. Summertime Odyssey, and we got... Uh-huh. Both events, and we got Primo Gems and Crown. And we also got the invitation of a free four-star character official to be specific huh there it goes with the basic stuff with the ether really resonating visions um we also got the, wait a new wait is that a new skin or something oh it is a new skin reminiscent regimen Another Prima Gems, and there's another character behind it. Oh, okay, it's a co op event. Huh. And there goes the good times on the Golden Apple Archipelago. Kinda missed it, honestly. Oh, there are a lot of events in this one. A lot of gameplay modes or something. But I don't know if that that's that's count as a content, you know. Hidden Strife. Hmm. Oh, it's I remember this one. It's the same event from version 1.1. 1 .1. A promotion mechanical painting, EMP. 
Uh, that's the that's the nice icon name right there. Hmm. Wait. New outfits. Red Dead of Night D look. Ooh, okay. Five star characters had their own skin, but you need to pay a specific amount of Genesis crystals for that one. And as for the other one is Huh. I'm Imranashtrom official. I don't know if I pronounced it correctly, but uh yeah, the design itself kind of resembles of a character from Honkai named Rita, I guess. I don't know. I think it's Rita. And then, and then imagine that Rita has a daughter. A mentally disordered daughter. <laughs> but I wonder if also if us also has a costume on that one. Well, don't expect too much from Hoyoverse, okay? Don't expect too much. Set your expectations low on that one. And that's pretty much anything about it. But one thing that really interests me is right here, I guess. I need to find a specific one. Um, okay, where is it? Where is it? I think this one right here. And this weapon resembles of a mist splitter reforged. And it has no hilt extra on the top of it. So, as I said, this might be a story quest for Kazuha and uh, also, my assumptions that this would be a new weapon that can be used specifically for him. Okay. It's kind of broken though. Wait, is this the lost Asian art that I encountered during the Zephyr of the Garden event or something? I guess so, but uh, yeah. Gotta wait more info for the story quest on that one on the special program. But uh, yeah, I guess it's time for me to do the reaction on the special program this time. It's the same thing from the trailer, come on. Okay, so this bubble contains screenshots from Kazuha's upcoming story quest. Hmm, I knew it. So I want to talk about this floating purple sword. I just need to know more. Yeah, and I think the sword looks kind of worn and beat up. I said it's the nerfed version of Miss Splitter and Forge. I don't know what the official name for that one, but anyway. I love a good duel. Yeah, me too. And it seems like it's an important fight. Ah. Yeah, the sword's kind of worn up though. But uh, anyway, things will get... Things will... Went pretty... Well, the sword's kind of worn up totally. But uh, I hope that the Kazo might find ways to get this sword uh, straight to... Well, how should I say this? Um, get to its pristine condition, I would say. Oh, Wow. As I said earlier, work into the pristine condition. And the screenshot tells everything about it. Can't wait for the story quest to work on that one. And also to get this, I don't know. I don't know if this sword is free or something. But uh, yeah. Wow, he's cool. And that voice. Wish that was me. I mean, he's so cool, confident, and mysterious. I love it. Right, really sleuthy, yeah? Okay, so, so jumping right, right in, Shikanoi Heizo wields a catalyst and carries an ammo vision. Interesting. He's like a melee catalyst user. I said that on the trainer reaction on video. No, it's super cool. And Hazo inherited his fighting style and knowledge from his dad. But in reality, Hazo prefers to use his mind rather than his physical strength and restrains from using force whenever possible. Well, that makes sense. Right. Mental skill is also an unarmed technique. Something cool about Hazo's elemental skill is that it can be held for a charging effect, which will grant him special declension stacks. Once. Isn't this supposed to be a copy version of Ito's um, E skill? I mean, basically, an. On Ito's E skill, he's just throwing Ushi out of the battlefield, while for Heizo, basically just knocking someone's heads off. But the animation looks similar. Damn. Oliver's got really lazy for that one, in my opinion. Nice. Multiple different game modes, so we'll start with the one called... Wait. Decent, Descent, Dual Pressures, High Pressure, Lightning Strike, Raids, Swift Assault, Joint Forces, and Convoy. You know what? I don't want to delve too much deeper about every gameplay in this one, but I guess I had to skip for that one. Yeah, for oh, sure. For sure. Nah, yeah. I'm going alone. So no. Even though that this is a co-op event, I prefer to go solo. That's it. Oh, I have no sodas to give. Anyways, 
Friends, I hope everyone will enjoy these cool co-op events. <laughs> Let's have a look at another event coming to the island area called Resonating Visions. Which is the same thing that we did in version 1.6. Basically, find each conscious, collect as many conscious as you want, and then you'll get the free premium gems and then a free four-star skin of Fischl. That's pretty much have to explain anything about it because I already seen that on the trader. Come on. The new hair, sharp tails looks epic. That red and black color scheme is awesome. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of a bit of reference of Dante's outfit from Devil May Cry 5. I don't know, okay? This is just basically my opinion about this one. So good. And as a matter of fact, this will be the game's first ever five star outfit. Wait, five star outfit? But we already have outfits for Jean and Kutching, though. Wait. First ever five star outfits, but. We also got another skin from Jane and Kutching. But wait, is it 5 star skin? I mean, 5 star character is supposed to have a 5 star skin. Wait, hang on, let me check something. a four star skin a five star character with a four star skin hmm weird but this is fine this is fine this is fine I'll, I'll i'll take it back i'll take it back <laughs> sorry and we can't forget our special plushie ben how was your first special program uh Oh no, there oh, goes us. That just about does it for today's special program. Travelers can keep an eye out for future official announcements to get more information on version 2.8. And that's it for us. Thanks, everyone. See you in game. Later, Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> and there goes everything about it. Uh, this place is hopping with activity. The sunshine makes the sandy beaches here glow like the embers of a pile of slime. Shangling? Next to the cool, sparkly water, what a view! Wait, no, it, it's not. Desert sand and the jungle rain could get along like this. That would be perfect. Desert sand, jungle rain. You can hear me? Yes. Hmm, how curious. Huh? Do you say you're a traveler? No. Well then, maybe I could offer you a bit of knowledge, and in return, you can tell me your story. How about it? Sure. Whoa! Wait, wait. Wait, this. It kind of reminds me of something. Oh my god, the infrastructure too. And there goes the NPCs, basic. Oh my. The music. Oh god, that music. It reminds me of something. It kind of reminds me of something. But look at this! Oh my god! It is Statue of the Seven Dendro Archon. You'll have to wait until we meet in person, though. But I'm sure Destiny will bring our paths together soon. Oh, it will. It will. Oh my god. I didn't actually expect that they can reveal Sumeru on the special program, but wow. I mean, look at this. It kind of the landmarks and kind of reminds me something. I, I, it, it does remind me of an old RPG game I played when I was little on PS One. Oh my god, I forgot the name. I forgot the name. And same goes to the music, the infrastructure they added on this one. But honestly, I don't know if this could be the first uh, um, area of the Sumer region. I bet there's something more than this one because as this character mentioned. Desert Sands, Jungle Raids, well this is the jungle ones, but when will be the release of the desert area of Sumeru? But man, wow. Wait, take a look at this, the infrastructures. Wow. And yeah, the NPCs are basically just doing their own stuff. Yeah, this, this area reminds me something. Okay, hang on, let me think for a moment. I forgot what the title of the game that is. Okay, so it's an old RPG game, and that music, it reminds me something. 
it kind of reminds me of something. I don't know what could be the title of the game, but uh, okay, hang, you just give me a minute. Ayun, Ayun, it's Legend of Mana. Okay, that's the old RPG game from Square Enix, Legend of Mana, and it, I, I kind of missed playing. I kind of missed that one. Man, I wish I could play that game again. I guess that's for the virtual uh, overall reaction of the special program. I mean, there are a lot of things to cover for this month, but I might as well have to get to the short version. Story quest will be coming in version 2.8. Same goes with the introduction of Hazo and the hangout event with Hazo. The first phase event banner will be including Kazo and Kali we run, and also with the introduction, and also with the first debut of the animal melee catalyst user Shikano and Hazo. And for the second phase event of the version 2.8 will be a Yoimiya rerun banner. And there are other events and also the return of the Golden Apple Archipelago. And based on what I hear on the special program, they added new assets or new landmarks to the Golden Apple and do a lot of explorations that might give us a little bit of a hint of what's going to come in the future. That also includes with the new 4 star skin for Fish Show. And yes, a first ever 5-star skin for a 5-star character, D-Look. And I gotta say, why not just give an another 5-star skin for Jean and Kuching? I mean, just... Yeah, I don't know. That's pretty much it. Lastly, the reveal of Sumeru. That is basically the first region of Sumeru. Plus, with the first look of the Dendro Archon on the Statue of the Seven, and from the looks of it, huh? I gotta say that she might be a catalyst user one day. A dendro catalyst user to be specific. But wow. And as I said earlier, this region reminds me of a game called Legend of Mana. One of the regions or something. But yeah, I gotta play the game again. Kinda really missed it. Okay, so the question is, does version 2.8 can pull me off and play this game again? Well, the answer is a big yes. But anyway, I guess that's it for today's video. Take care and stay safe. Goodbye.